Bristol City enjoyed their first win in 10 league games where they defeated Hull in midweek. And now they face a Middlesbrough side who also had an important victory on Wednesday night, a 2-0 win at Millwall. It's a sad afternoon on Teesside. The death announced this morning of the great Jack Charlton, who managed Middlesbrough and led them to the top flight in his first job in management 46 years ago. Before kick-off, the players take the knee in recognition of the Black Wives Matter. Young Jed Spence was in the wars at the Den on Wednesday night, took a blow in the face and is wearing a protective guard for this one. Patterson with the free kick for Bristol City, taking short to Corey Smith. Key Wells is the target there. Throw to Bristol City. They've lost four straight since the restart before that win against Hull. Here's Wells. Patterson. Ball has uh, bounced kindly for Vyman, who tees it up for Nikki Wells, who makes it 1 0. A fantastic first time strike. And Bristol City lead early here at the Riverside, thanks to Nikki Wells. It's his first goal for a while, his fourth league goal for Bristol City since joining in January. And it's a lovely first-time finish. Teed up by Vyman, who had too much time, really. In off the post, Stojanovic with no chance in the Borough goal. And Bristol City can settle down now and dictate things, you would imagine. Jack Hunt will drill this across the pitch, aimed towards Wells again. Spence wins the header, only as far as Fawara Jeju. And Jeju is allowed to turn. Still Fawara Jeju, who will get the shot in. And it's saved at the near post by Stojanovic, who berates his defence. Too much time there for Bristol City's big striker, who's on the score sheet himself against Hull. And nearly added another there. Managed to work room for the shot. Nearly beats Stojanovic at the near post. Ryan Shotton will uh, hurl this one in with his long throw. And it comes. Up they go. And Savile wins the header. And it's hit the crossbar. And then it's lobbed over. Well, that was a real escape for Bristol City. Ashley Fletcher was looking to pick up the pieces. But it was George Savile who won the header. Shotton's long throw, and Daniel Bentley got a hand on that to push it onto the bar. It's actually a fine save by the Bristol City keeper. Savile climbed up well, he's just got enough on that, and then Fletcher couldn't hit the target with the rebound. Ball down the line, Vyman helped on again, Patterson won't get there, but then Middlesbrough get in a muddle, and here is another chance for Bristol City. Jack Hunt with time. He hits it first time, and Stojanovic makes the save. Well, he had more time than he thought there, Jack Hunt, I think. But once again, Borough getting in a muddle. Shotton's clearance just ricocheted off George Savile, back into the path of Patterson, who found Jack Hunt first time. Could have taken a touch. Stojanovic makes a decent save. Borough in a muddle defensively. And Bristol City looking to extend their lead and looking dangerous every time they get forward. Stojanovic is the busier keeper. Shot and again will hurl this in. Jeju back helping the defence. It's not clear yet, though. Vyman will hook it out of danger. Hansen with the header. Shot and will loft it back in and does so. It's over the top of everybody. Johnson. Patterson across defending, and the Borough players want a penalty for handball there, I think, against Jamie Patterson. Referee Darren England not interested. So Borough have a corner. In it comes Bentley. Perhaps that one cut to be enough, and we'll look to get Bristol City moving again. Here's Hunt. And here's Vyman, and they've got some room here. Bristol City, they're breaking forward. Patterson is outside him. Jamie Patterson takes on Jed Spence. Patterson into the box, will try one! And he's found the top corner for 2-0. And Jamie Patterson scores his second goal in the week. And he only seems to score spectacular ones. It was a fantastic free kick against Hull. 
And that is a fine finish. Well, Barrow will feel aggrieved. They had an appeal for handball against Patterson before that corner. And then on the counter, Bristol City were able to break downfield. It's another assist for Vyman. Patterson still had a lot to do, though. Took on Jed Spence. And from a difficult angle, he's beaten Stojanovic to make it 2-0. That is a powerful strike into the top corner of the net. And Bristol City now in complete control. Corey Smith. Wells, Vyman, who uh, stumbles, but uh, so gets the pass away to Wells. And here come Bristol City again. Jack Hunt is outside him and will deliver the cross. And Jeju! And that's a fine save by Stojanovic who denies the big striker again. But Jeju got in the end of that. Bristol City looking to score every time they get forward. Stojanovic keeping his side in it. Middlesbrough desperately need a quick response, really. Here comes the cross, headed away by Benkovic. Housen. Resting forward, he's taken a knock there and gone down, and it'll be a free kick to Middlesbrough. McKee Wells, the Bristol City player involved, but Housen's feeling the effects of that. And they're queuing up on the edge of the box for this free kick. Middlesbrough need to make something happen. In it comes. Sombolonga was the target. De Silva half clears it. Housen gets it back in again. McNair, and here is Patrick Roberts! And he can't hit the target. Well, that was a really good chance for Patrick Roberts, who's just come on. McNair got room for the turn and picked him out. He's in space, it's a difficult angle. We've seen Patterson score from a similar position. And Roberts couldn't work the keeper. Frustration for Neil Warnock. Won two and lost two before today. Looks at the moment to be heading for a third defeat. Jeju jumps for it, Vyman wins it again and Vyman plays into Key Wells another good chance here and he's got there first and touched it home and that surely is that Bristol City lead 3-0 Nikki Wells has his second of the afternoon and they are good value for this scoreline they really have taken their chances it's another assist for Vyman who plays in Wells Fry makes a hash of his attempted clearance and the striker just got there ahead of Stojanovic and touched it past him and they are 3-0 to the good. Burrow defensively so frail this afternoon. Sombolonga. His options outside him, but checks instead. And here's Lewis Wing. His shot is blocked. Tavernier. Wing once more. Sombolonga will try and work some room and gets a shot away. And has pulled one back, Brida Sombolonga. He's in the goals again, it's his third in four games since the restart. But I fear it will only be a consolation from Borough's point of view. They worked it well, Sombolonga, given too much room, gets the shot away to beat Bentley. But Borough still with it all to do here with time running out. in a muddle at the back Smith forward to Vyman he'd love a goal to finish a good afternoon for himself personally but uh, Stojanovic deals with that and now it goes downfield but that is the final whistle well Dean Holden has taken to management like a duck to water two wins in his first week but Neil Warnock still has problems Borough just can't put a run together to climb towards safety for Mara Jeju was a handful for Bristol City but another wonder strike from Jamie Patterson and two from Nikkei Wells are the difference here. And Bristol City are just giving themselves a shout of getting back into the playoff picture. Another good win for them. They've won it here at the Riverside by three goals to one.